Hi guys and girls, welcome back. I got a request from Mr. Cliff Rodden as a junior on my YouTube uh, channel and he asked if I can show you how the um, how you can uh, make a virtual sound check from your uh, SQ drive and I'm going to show you this right now. I've been to the board. We start on the um, just the normal processing screen and um, I'm assuming you haven't uh, already recorded your band. So they are band is playing right now. You have your just your normal show and you want to record them. What you got to do is uh, uh, p perhaps before you go somewhere else, um, set up audio, use the USB tab. Make sure you have the SQ drive as the USB mode. And for most of the recordings, it would suffice uh, I suppose to be on 48 kilohertz. This is the new option from firmware 1.5. So if you've got an older firmware, you're screwed. <laughs> Nothing will work. Everything will explode. So next step uh, to record your band is I use tie lines. So if you go to the IO screen and those are your local inputs, here are the outputs and I use tie lines. Tie lines are just a way of recording audio uh, passing, uh, not passing through any processing, just from A to B. So, and we now go take a tie line and take it from our local channels right to the USB. So, because we want to record it there. If you want to record uh, with your IO card, you do the same, you go to IO card and select all your inputs right there. So, this is how you record to an IO card. For example, I got an, an Waves card right now and the audio you're hearing um, in a few minutes will be recorded through that IO port at the same time as I do the virtual sound check. So, um, let me see. Yeah, so we have chosen our local inputs to go from there to the USB output. Next thing is we go to utility and there is your SQ drive uh, things, thingies. As you can see, there are 32 meters because you can, can record up to 32 channels. <clears throat> and only the ones I've chosen to be recorded uh, are right now here. Those are the locals because I have only 16. There are 16 plus the stereo ones. Um, if I would have chosen S-Link card, there would have been a little uh, writing S-Link 1, S-Link 2, S-Link 3. Uh, and so forth and so forth. You can also mix and match. You can have the first for S-Link, then local, and then S-Link again. So however you wish to do. So uh, everything's set up. You arm the recording by hit the record button. So it is armed right now. And if you play, uh, if you put uh, push the play button, um, your band will be recorded through the tie lines, meaning no processing, just the raw inputs. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. You've recorded everything you want to your SQ drive right now. And the next thing is um, we want to play them back. This is what uh, Carl was asking in one of the comments to my YouTube video. Um, okay, so we go to the IO port, uh, page again, Import Output. And now we want to have the outputs go uh, come from the uh, SQ drive to be the local inputs because we have we want to process them here and we want to see what we can do here. So let's go to inputs. Uh, there are two ways to do that. Either go to USB and uh, push manually the little squares until you have a nice little uh, line. The other, the faster way is go to library because the guys at Allen and Heath already thought ahead and have some patches made for us. And we want to take the USB patch. Oh, focus, USB patch. Yes, recall. And as you can see, by the magic of Keith and all the gods at Elm Teeth, there is now your inputs. Your local inputs are now coming from USB. And here you can see the naming I've given them. So my first channel is called uh, MB left, MB right, then the small microphone condenser, Small condenser. Oh, <laughs> I made it wrong. SCM is, it should be. Um, and my DPA microphones are there. And I'll check 
if there is something uh, with the recording I made yesterday. I had the pleasure of recording a little chamber orchestra with all the corona restrictions. So um, let's go back to utility and let's choose. This is this little uh, touch to select a track window. I select the last one. SQMT is for multitrack 007. Select. And it's loading up. There it is. And if we now say play, you can hear something, I hope. So I go in the middle of the track. So, and... There is some audio playing for you. Those are the, the room mics, and let's take some of the DPA mics. So, a little bit further down the road. Okay, and you can listen to the bass, cello, viola one, viola two, Violin 1, Violin 2, and all together. And maybe some of the room mics. Okay. Okay. Maybe give them some reverb. Okay. And some panorama. Left, right, yeah. a little bit there for the bass, to the right, as well for the cello, and there you have it. You can play around, and you can do all your favorite things right now, record the band, and after that, uh, play around at home or at the venue, and uh, have fun with the virtual sound check. Any questions? Uh, just uh, put them down in the uh, in the comment section, and um, I would really appreciate if you hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, it really helps. Um, and as we say in Germany, bitte abonnieren Sie mich. Have fun! Bye bye.